Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our second of three personal breaks here on this Labor Day Monday and do have three Iron Anniversary Series 1 boxes of Game of Thrones for Nick D from Maryland. So thank you so much Nick for letting me open up so much Game of Thrones for you here on the channel and I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now it seems like the supply of these boxes is draining everywhere because these boxes have actually gone insane on eBay as of late, pushing nearly 300 a box, but we still have one remaining so we are almost completely out as well. Very excited to be checking out these boxes here for Nick and I hope that we find some awesome cards, like I said, for his collection. Now, each of these boxes are individually numbered to 18,000. Box one is number 633. That's a pretty low number. Then 2,367 and 3,306. So it looks like somehow the boxes I grabbed here are actually going up in order. It seems like they're in proper order. So let's go ahead and get started here. Two autographs per box, but you can find bonus hits in the form of cut autos, autograph relic cards, relic cards, sketch cards, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get started here by snapping us into the corner. And like I said, let's just go in order here. Number 633. Two autographs per box, at least one of which is guaranteed to be an inscription auto. Highlight inscription autos here from Iron Anniversary Series 1 include Amelia Clark as Daenerys. Of course, that is the number one overall chase here of the sets. But I am just so excited to see what we find here. Since ah, it's coming to an end, I can't believe when we first got in this product, we had 24 cases. And there's literally just one box left now. It's crazy. I can't believe that we are almost out of this set when we had so much of it. Absolutely so much of it. Same thing with Iron Anniversary Series 2, and we've been out of that. Now, we had, I think, just straight 20 instead of 24, but that, that actually sold first, even though it came out afterwards. Game of Thrones, the complete series volume two should be coming later this year. Haven't seen a pre-order for it yet. It's not sure if Rittenhouse is going to be pushing it back a little bit, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. Pack one. Do you have an inflection update? Battle plans. Number 161. We have a red parallel. Ooh, who do we have? Red Sansa. That is number 31 of 50. Very nice. Sansa Stark red parallel. Looks like our first autograph. Who do we have? We have full bleed style here. Rory McCann as the hound. Sandor Clegane, very cool. Actually, I believe we saw him recently as well. Didn't find any when the set first came out. We opened up, I think, five total cases. But we've seen a couple Rory McCann autos lately. All right, very nice start here as Sandor Clegane. So, since we have a non-inscription auto, that means our second auto of the box will be 100% an inscription. There it is. Let's see, who are you? We do have Paul Bentley here as High Septon, I believe. That says, after the riots of King's Landing. Is that inscription? Yes, yeah, that's High Septon. This is our inscription auto of the box. The top loaders fell on that top loader with the Rory McCann auto. But I was going to say that one thing I appreciate about Rittenhouse products, aside from the boxes being numbered, I just think it's great how they disclose the print run. So you know exactly how much is out there. You know, if we knew exactly how many boxes of like, let's say for example, Tops just revealed the designs that popped into my head, but 2023 series one baseball, like, is a lot more than 18,000. But you know, seeing that's like, wow, 18,000 series one boxes. It's crazy to think about, but I appreciate that they disclose that. But also on the checklist, another thing that I really like about Rittenhouse is that it does give you an approximation of how much of each particular inscription exists. We have OSHA laser cons. Acorn. Acorn usually lists, Acorn tunes in for the Game of Thrones openings and lists the uh, 
the inscription counts in the comments down below. So I'm excited to check that out it's a little later. Also, shout out to Acorn. Acorn, during the live streams as well, opening up Rittenhouse products. It's like always on point. I'm like, how are you just always here? But shout out to Acorn. We do have Middle Expressions insert of the box. We have Cersei. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. That is Expressions number seven. I believe also on Rittenhouse's calendar, I think for next year, or maybe even 2024, is a House of the Dragon set, which I've heard really good things about it. I've heard really, really good things. Seems like people are pretty happy with it so far. <laughs> Copper Sansa. This is a Sansa color box. 44 of 199. There are also, Rittenhouse Archives also has the Doctor Who license. So that gives me extra hope. Of course, Matt Smith being the 11th Doctor, as well as Damon Targaryen in House of the Dragon. Uh, maybe we'll be getting some Matt Smith on card autos. That'd be pretty cool. I would prefer Doctor Who, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. So, You have Battles Insert, Battle of the Green Fork. That is number one. So one Battles Insert per box, one Updates, one Metal Expressions, one Laser Cut, two Autos. And then you have your two Color Parallels or one Color Parallel plus a Short Print Insert or some sort of bonus hit. So I did get two Color, nice ones though, the Copper and the Red Sansa, number to 50. Nice Roy McCann auto. All right, let's go ahead and move along into box two, three, six, seven. Here we go, box two for Nick. All righty, two more autos. We have only found one Daenerys auto. All of her autographs are like to 10 or less. According to the checklist for the inscriptions, they all say five to ten. I think on like all of hers, so could just be five of each, could be ten of each, could be like seven of each. Like you don't know exactly, but we did find her once for Bryston. Be crazy here at the end if we found her again. But do you have inflections updates? Brienne and or Brienne memorializes Jamie. That is number one ninety five. We have a gold parallel. <laughs> Everything's coming up Sansa here. Gold, 62 of 99. Nick, I think the universe wants you to collect Sansa. Just the feeling, just the feeling that I get. I believe we can also find Sansa autos in this product, so maybe we'll see her. <laughs> Looks like first auto is an inscription. We do have... Do, do, do. You must choose, or... I'm thinking that's a U. First, I was like, wait, no. And then I'm like, yes, I think that's just a very small on the Y. You must choose the hearts. Dira Varma here as Ilaria Sand. Nice inscription to start. We've seen her several times, although I do not believe we've seen that particular inscription. You must choose with the heart. Very cool. First auto of the box. And then second auto is also an inscription. We have K. Alexander as Leaf, the little kisses. Character name inscription plus the XX. K. Alexander for our second auto of the box. All right, so two inscriptions here in box two. Still several packs to go. Will we find a bonus hits? Will we find a second numbered card? We find something else. Only one way to find out. We have laser cuts, Gregor, number 61. Copper, Melisandre, all right, so our first not Sansa. 190 out of 199, Melisandre Copper. We're going to sort these by color. All right. Heavy pack should be our metal expressions. We have Grey Worm. I had no fears. I was never the biggest, never the strongest, but I was the bravest. Always. Number 27, Jacob Anderson as Grey Worm. Last pack of box two. 
And battles, battle for Casterly Rock, number 17. All right, one box left, number 3306. Let's see what's hiding in here. One pack trying to escape already. What does that mean? All right. Here we go. Pack one, third and final box for Nick. Looks like we're starting off with an inscription auto. We do have James Cosmo, protect the wall. James Cosmo as Lord Commander Mormont. Not a bad start at all. James Cosmo autograph. You've had some nice inscriptions. Indira Varma, James Cosmo. Interesting we started off with an auto rather than the inflections updates. Do we have second inscription? Let's see. We do have Gethin Anthony. What's best for the kingdoms? Inscription. Gethin Anthony as Renly Baratheon. I feel like we haven't seen him in a little while. What's best for the kingdom? Inscription. We'll say. Nice that we managed to avoid any inscriptions that just said GOT or just Game of Thrones. Although I appreciate inscriptions, I like the extra effort. Those, to me, do feel like the laziest. Did not actually see any of those here with our five inscriptions. So all of our autos have been secured, unless we have a bonus. All of our expected autos have been secured, I should say. We have Walder here. Walder Frey. Laser cuts. Copper parallel of Brienne. That is number 134 out of 199. First we were coming up all Sansa here. Now it's coming up all ladies for Nick. Battles inserts, Sack of Astapor. Heavy pack. We have our metal expressions. Gilly, better to live free than die a slave. Really like the metal cards. Hannah Murray, metal expressions. All right, two packs remain. Waiting on another numbered card or SP insert or bonus hits. Plus that, Inflections Update. So we have the Inflections Update here. All right, last pack, I see you. John joins Tormund and the Free Folk. All right, final pack here for Nicholas. Mr. Nick, we have a gold. Who are you? Ah, you're breaking our streak of, di of girls, dude. All right, Jamie, 37 out of 99. All right, Jamie. We did have Jamie and Brienne in the same box. All right, gold Jamie to wrap things on off here for Nick. All right, not a bad assortment. Did not find an Amelia Clark, but we did find some really neat cards. Let's start off actually with our parallels. We'll take a look. One red, two golds, three copper. Here we had Brienne to 199, 134, and 199. Sansa, 44 of 199, and Melisandre, 190 out of 199. Jamie Gold, 37 of 99. Sansa here, I like this picture a lot. 62 of 99, and the red Sansa, that is number 31 of 50. One non-inscription auto, Roy McCann here, as Sandor Clegane. Very nice non-inscription auto. Then for our inscriptions, don't know the rarity on these just quite yet, like I said. Sure, there'll be a comment either when you're watching or a little bit afterwards sharing the information from the checklist. We had Gethin Anthony as Renly Baratheon. What's best for the kingdoms? James Cosmo as Lord Mormons. Protect the wall. K. Alexander as Leaf. Character name inscription. You must choose Indira Varma as Alaria Sand. And Paul Bentley as High Septon. After the riots of King's Landing. With that... 
That does wrap off these three boxes here for Nick. Thank you so much, Nick, for letting me open these on up for you. Really hope that you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Lots of fun. Man, it's unfortunate that it is almost coming to an end. Like I said, I can't believe it seems like it happened overnight that these boxes got crazy, especially when you think of how many boxes there were to begin with. But I'm sure House of the Dragon coming out has people all hyped up on Game of Thrones, even if season eight did sour people's opinions about the series. Hopefully, hopefully House of the Dragon goes well. Like I said, I've heard really good things about it. It's just, ah, the, the violence and stuff is something that I don't want to watch personally, but I've been, I've been, I've been reading the subreddit, seeing what's going on week to week. Like, even if I'm not watching it and like actually seeing the things happen, I'm cringing at some of the stuff. Ooh, like, like last episode's like, that sounds rough. And then this episode, though, Matt Smith seems really cool. Matt Smith is that guy where like you see him and you're like, who's this weird dude? And then it's like, oh, but Matt Smith's super cool. You just have to get used to him. Except, I don't know, I've seen uh, like some dancing meme from him from Morbius. I'm like, what? But like Doctor Who at first, I was like, I don't think he's going to be a good doctor. And then I'm like, yo, Matt Smith's really cool. So I'm seeing a lot of people being like, you know, this this, this Matt Smith guy is pretty cool in, in uh, not Game of Thrones. So. so curious to see what happens with that series. And like I said, there should be another Game of Thrones set coming out before the end of the year. So even if Iron Anniversary Series 1 and Series 2 are kaput, they're all gone. Should have some more, maybe by Christmas time? I don't know. Waiting. Hopefully we get some new news from Rittenhouse on that shortly. Because it does say, it does say 2022 on their website. Last time I checked, which was like last week. So we'll see. We'll see. It should be the complete series, volume two. But with that, that does wrap off things here for Nick. So again, Nick, thank you so much for letting me open this on up for you. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll be out there watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, as always, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments are me. Drop those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just one more video here coming this evening. We do have a box of Star Wars Finest. That should be excited for exciting for Clayton up next. And then that'll wrap off our Labor Day Monday night personal breaks. But of course, I'll be back tomorrow as well. More stuff. More stuff. I'm curious if we're going to get anything new on Wednesday. I don't think anything shipped today because the holiday, but we'll see. I'm sure you guys will keep me busy anyways. But anyway, let me let me finish this off here. We've had some longer videos here tonight. Before I get on out of this one though, do I have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much you all for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Soltari, MT, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gemmint fans. Bamboo, Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Genev Zen, Touchdown, On Paper, Unbreaded, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. And that finishes up Game of Thrones for me here this evening. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next video. Bye!